What's up, YouTube fam? How's it going, guys? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are well. I decided to change the location today and do my video. Today's video. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to talk about Necro motherfucking Namakon. Or I'm just be real with you. Nigga fucking Namakon. And so my experiences with the Necro Namakon were phenomenal, man. Were phenomenal. First of all, I'm gonna tell you that this entire system is based off of melon magic, melanin sorcery. So for those who really want to tap in depth to their melanin and their melanin energy and anything to do with their melanin sorcery, the Necronomicon is it. Right? During the process of me going through it, I wanted to push myself to the next level each and every single time. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to see how fucked up my mind can really be because the great old ones i'm gonna tell you are really fucked up because they're chaotic in nature and so each and every time that i did a working with a different uh uh version or different energy or different deity of the necronomicon system um i, I you know i would go to them and i'm like hey how fucked up is my mind how fucked up can you make things be like i want to go to the core to the source of my of my soul of of the source of me of of that which cannot be named and i want i want to draw up the deepest most darkest shit that i could fucking conjure up and i want to fucking manifest it here in the physical i want to see the shit right here and right now and so um at most me doing the rituals that i were doing the only things that were really manifest um was conflicts with people and stuff like that but that was just a manifestation of of just the cthulian energies of of my soul manifesting and i'm like yes this is it this is it and so just you know just a warning to people not to scare you not to kind of deter you from actually doing the necronomicon work but to give you a heads up before you hop into it is that be prepared to to bridge over that gap that is insanity okay um be prepared to go to the deepest and darkest reaches of yourself and don't fight it because if you fight it you're fighting against your own self your own your own soul your own concept of who and what you are so the necronomicon dissolves the ego it releases the great old ones right so if you're doing anything to get in contact with the great old ones don't conflict the work don't battle with the work. Don't um, fight with the work by involving your ego to fight against what's being released. That was the, one of the biggest things that I had to learn and had to let go. I had went through a death process. I had went through a deathing process, a process of releasing and letting go and becoming one with my true divine self, which is Cthulhu and the many aspects of, of the Necronomicon. Now, I'm, the reason why I mention Cthulhu is because everybody placed a lot of energy into Cthulhu, and Cthulhu seems to be the gateway energy of the heart, of the heart. And so going through Cthulhu opens up the many gateways uh, to be able to access the, the, the city of Rayleigh, which is basically your own construct within your own subconscious mind of your own reality. So Rayleigh is your own fucked up reality that's manifesting here in the physical. It may not look like it, but it is. So you visualizing all the, 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 the fucked up cities and shit like that and shapes and it's, it's really hard to describe. Geometrical shapes like black obsidian looking like shit that's oozing it like all this fucking shit, right? It, it has to manifest as your reality into the physical. So as you're going through your physical life... You're going to see shit that resembles that. It may not look like it because it's a physical realm. The physical realm has already been templated and formatted for specific energies. But when the energies of the Cthulhu mythos, not the, uh, um, the Cthulhu mythos, uh, uh, synchronizes with those energies, those energies actually start to manifest. You know what I'm saying? They start to attract. And then you're actually starting to see the reflections of what the city of Rayleigh might be considered within your current reality, but it's all down to you as a practitioner. So, um, with the Cthulhu, with the with the with the Necronomicon, Cthulhu 
and all of the Cthulian energies. Just follow me here. You know, there that's just the name that I'm going with. Like all the Cthulian energies are just many aspects of uh, uh, of melanin, of melanin. So if you want to learn, and there are also different. Well, you can't really say many aspects of Cthulhu because Cthulhu is his own energies, his own entity. But all the other aspects are just aspects of your own melanin, right? So, um, you you'll get aspects that are fucked up that teaches you how to 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 use lightning, or you know what I'm saying, like like uh, uh how to use water and like how to fucking draw up fucking demonic fucked up beings from like the the inner depths of of the subconscious mind or the divine or the the, the darkest divine um, uh, melanated aspects of light, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like pure light like you think. It's pure light and darkness, you know. So you're getting DVDs like that that come up. Like these are many different aspects of your melanin. So as you go in and you're working with these deities and these entities, these energies, um, talk to them. Talk to them because you're talking to yourself. You're talking to the aspects of you that have lain dormant. You know what I mean? And so in order for you to raise those things up, talk to them, ask them questions because you're questioning yourself. You're actually challenging your own melanin. And so at that point in time, your melanin has to release the ego, which is the scary. That's the scary part, right? Because the ego is being released. That's what Cthulhu and all the energies and entities and deities of the Cthulhu, of the of the Necronomicon mythos is doing. They're releasing those energies so you can get the pure and true answer of what you're looking for. So challenge yourself while you're doing this work. You know what I'm saying? And, and go deep. Go in depth. See how fucked up your mind is and how fucked up your mind can be. I'm going to tell you, man. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Like, the shit's crazy. The shit's crazy. I, I loved it. I was so excited to get through it. I was apprehensive at first because I'm like, well, how, how, not so much scary. How fucked up is things really going to, like, because you, you read the mythos and you, you see how HP channeled the shit, man. You seen how he challenged, challenged the shit, and he put it down on paper. And that's another that's another aspect of melanin, right? Challenging shit and putting it down on paper, which becomes an an a live, conscientious conscientious sentient being. The writing on paper itself. So you're writing your own your own not mythos, but your own um story, your own reality. Out on paper and then it's manifesting because you're linking it from the mind to the physical through paper through in ink you know through pen which ink is a form of you know of well never mind I ain't gonna get I ain't gonna get off into that but um anyway you know what you're doing is you're writing out this 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 elaborate story you know what I'm saying and the reason why um HP Lovecraft was told by by the ancient ones by us to, to leave it open is because that it opens up the channel, it opens up the gateways for anybody to access energy and it does not have a format. That's the beautiful part about it. The Necronomicon does not have a format. I'll say it again, the Necronomicon does not have a format. So anybody could add to the story. Anybody could I wouldn't take away from it, don't take away from it, but anybody could add to the story. Anybody could, could write their own story using the Cthulhu mythos, using the Necronomicon based off of it, and publish it, which is another form of bringing the ancient ones and the old ones back to life because they're associated with you. So if anybody else reads it, they won't really be able to associate it with their reality because the way Cthulhu and the way that the, the melanin works, the way that melanin works, the way that the darkness and the blackness of the soul works is that it's associated individually with each individual person. So even let's just say that you write a story, right, of the Cthulhu mythos or the Necronomicon, and I write a story of the Cthulhu mythos and the Necronomicon. Those two, even though we're using the same characters, will be two different uh, uh, stories, two different versions of the Necronomicon, but it's still Necronomicon if that makes sense. So you're using a baseline energy. Utilize that when you're doing your work, right? They taught me how to write my shit into reality, and the shit happens. The shit's fucking powerful, where you can change the very reality around you just through written word. Okay, and so utilize that. 
Um, um, now, a little bit about what's been what child what was challenged to me from uh, 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 the great old ones um, about H.P. Lovecraft. Now, look at this. Look at his name, right? Lovecraft. When I was working with uh, the great old ones, I would feel at times a sensation of like straight up pure ecstasy, man. And it was like right here in the heart, right? It was straight up pure ecstasy. That's because the heart is the gateway because that's where the heart, the heart, that's where the mind lies. The mind lies in the heart. So therefore, when you are activating, you synchronizing the heart and the mind together as one, and you're working with these energies, these entities, your reality will manifest according to what you believe and what you feel. So about HP, so his name, Lovecraft, they told me, they said, like, look, check it out. Lovecraft is the craft of love and it's associated with the heart itself. So which means that as you're going through and you're working with these energies and you're activating these deities and stuff, you're going to feel a great sense of love, a great sense of appreciation, a great sense of pleasure, a great sense of ecstasy because you're coming straight and direct from the heart. Because the heart is the access, it's the access point to these energies. Right. So as you're working with these energies, you're opening up the heart and you're allowing these energies to express themselves in their purity, in the forms that they are manifesting according to you and your personal and individual path to manifest here on the physical plane. And so when you're you're working specifically with these 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 melanated forms, um, which they are shadows or now. When they when they manifest, I'll go back to the to the Lovecraft thing and the and the heart gate and stuff like that in a second. When these things manifest, okay, they manifest as shadow shadowy beings that are associated with the element that's uh, associated with you. So, for example, water, right? Why water? Because water represents. And it's synchronized and it's associated. It's a direct manifestation of the subconscious mind. It's a direct manifestation of the soul. It's a direct manifestation of the emotions. It's a direct manifestation of energy, of the charging, of the holding, of the of the mirroring of energies, right? And so when you're working with these, these deities, a lot of them may bring and they may flash things into your mind, in your mind's eye that deals and associates with water, okay? Utilize that however you want. Yeah, whatever perspective and and limit and whatever it is that you that you want to but but that's there is a key and a gateway that you can use to go even deeper into your own subconscious mind go in deep right so anyway um when they told me they said yeah his name lovecraft is associated with the necronomicon because they necronomicon is associated with the true true purest emotions of the heart and of the soul which also, like I said, is associated with the mind. The mind is there. So as you're thinking these pure thoughts, these true thoughts, you can't hide who and what you are with these great old deities that we are. Right? And I'm talking about great old black ones. It's us, man. It's us, right? And so when you're manifesting these things because you are synchronized with your melanin, you have no choice but to manifest the true you, your true... Um, purpose your true will your true intent you can't hide that and so when you try to hide it when you fight it that's when the scariness comes in that's when all the fucked up shit starts to manifest that's when the scarier part of the of, of the the necronomicon starts to manifest okay that's when you start to see shit that really manifests that really does manifest in front of you and you're like what the fuck is that like where the fuck did that come from right like I'll, I'll give you an example. Like me, I was purposely trying to evoke shit. Like, purposely trying to have shit to fucking just raise up in front of me. To manifest in the physical before me. Like, not so much in flesh, but in form. True evocation. And the shit worked. Okay? I'll put it like this. The shit worked. Right? Um, and that's what you want to do. You want to go fucking deep, man. You want to you you want to go fucking you want to go as hard as you can to say okay let's fucking go hard and fucking manifest some fucked up shit like who like who's gonna really stop you you know what i'm saying who who puts laws out there that says you can't manifest your mind that you can't 
evoke and invoke your mind on the physical plane. That's what you do anyway, right? Through the form of ego. Through the form of ego, you push your and project your ego out every day, right? So why not project and push out the truest and realest part of you that's from the deepest part of your soul, right? That cannot be contained. That cannot be stopped. That cannot be prevented, right? That's why they say the great old ones sleep, you know, beneath Rayleigh or they sleep within Rayleigh, right? They sleep within Rayleigh. They can't be killed. The great old ones cannot be killed because it is you. It's the real you. It's the realest part of you. It's the part of you that can't die, man. It's the part of you that can't die, that, that lives internally, but lies sleeping because of what? Your conscious mind, your fucking ego is what suppresses them, Right? So you have to get past your fucking ego when doing this work. And it's going to happen. As soon as you step through the fucking gates and, and talk to the first great old one, you've already activated it. As a matter of fact, they contact and they activate you, right? Because it is you. It's your melanin letting you know that it's time to wake up. It's time to fucking get to work, right? And so as you're activating, you're developing these aspects of yourself, go in deep, utilize them on the physical plane. Fuck shit up. Tear shit up. And because it's not forms of, of, of energy that people are most likely to use, man, I'm telling you, anything like like the world is your oyster. Now, don't get me wrong. There is cause and effect. Okay? There are universal laws where if you go around and start fucking shit up, shit, you know what I'm saying, there is a balance that needs to be kept. But make sure that you, you know, you, you explore. Explore it anyway and use it wisely to figure out what's the best way to manifest these things in your life. And so, you know, as as I was going more off into like the love crafting, I'm like, oh, okay, makes sense. You know, why I feel my heart, my heart area, my heart center, or the heart energy, the love energy, rather, being activated is because Lovecraft really did channel that shit, man. He really did channel that shit from the core of him. So I, I guess we could consider uh, uh, H.P. Lovecraft a nigga. <laughs> A straight up nigga, man, straight up, because he channeled that shit from the deepest portion of his soul. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got to look past the fact that he was some white man, you know what I'm saying, that lived in New York, and he was channeled. He channeled our shit. Our shit returned back to us for us to reawaken it within us. And so that's the reason why they came. They came through him, because if they would have came through any other nigga, most niggas would be like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, He's on, he's on some other shit. But because he was a white man, niggas are like, hmm, hmm. You know, for the ones that are truly and really into their shit, we don't want to talk about, but like, hmm. He, he, he knows some shit because he's actually talked about shit that, that, that belongs to us. Right? And anytime you get shit that's talked about like that, like, put like this. He is... The father of, of horror and stuff like that. From a lot of our el a lot of our elders has said that, you know, from from you know lecturing and stuff like that. Now you know I watched the videos on and lecturing on on like a lot of the stuff that he produced, but it makes sense. Like like he is like nobody can fucking top him in the sense that when it comes to the mind and producing horror and the deepest darkest portions of the subconscious mind and the fears that it released he is it he is it um in the sense that we used him to give us back our shit right so can't nobody top that like not stephen king not steven spielberg not no no fucking writer out here you know what i'm saying not the geiger dude not anybody out here could fucking top that shit you know what i'm saying and so when you're when you're working with the uh, uh, the HP Lovecraft stuff, all of his shit, you're working with pure you. You're working with pure melanated energy, baby, that's been transmitted through him, channeled through him to come back to you. So, you know, uh, you got to be appreciative of that. And so, um, um, for me, I appreciated it. I was great to, it was great to get back in contact. Um, now I feel synchronized with who and what I am, truly. Sincerely on a, on a deep deep level and I know how to work those energies now I know how to really push those energies out and if I really wanted to fuck somebody up 
I could or not put it like that. But I do appreciate the lessons that was learned from the great old ones. And remember that it's individual. It's individual with you as a person because not everybody's going to be on that same path. Not everybody's going to be on that same walkway. Right. And so it's going to manifest differently for you than it is for anybody else. So don't try to mix up two different paths and compare. This isn't about comp comp competition. This isn't about comparing. It's about individuality. So if you're working the shit according to your own mental path, your own soul and how it's associated with you, then that's great. Utilize it. You don't have to tell anybody about it. You ain't got to be like, oh, well, I work with X and X and X. Um, you know, uh, 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 great old one or old one and blah, blah, blah. I mean, if the spirit tells you like, yeah, release that information out to the world so it can further the gnosis of that person or further the path and the information, the energy that's being released within that person or needs to be activated in that person as a mirroring of their own melanin reflected off of, off of you to them. Then by all means, have a fucking field day, right? But outside of that, keep ego out of it. That's my thing. You know, keep ego out of it because if you don't, it's going to fuck you up. It's going to destroy you while you're working this work, while you're doing this work. Now, and remember, like I said, when doing this work, your fears will manifest because you're working with the purest part. You're working with melanin. You're working. Melanin is very a very raw substance. It's very raw, a true substance. And so basically working with that substance is very chaotic. And it's very destructive and it will fuck shit up. So when you're working with these energies, keep that in mind that that when you're when you're uh, um, tapping and going in deep, those things will have to manifest. Right. But don't be afraid of it because it's only it's only you and your own mind and the reflections of your own mind coming to the surface. And so basically, that's my take. Or the Necronomicon. I might go in deeper. I might do another video, man. Because, I mean, I'm in love with the shit. <laughs> I love the shit. The shit was uh, very impactful. Um, great. Scary at times. Fucked up. <laughs> uh, uh, freeing. Energetic. And uh, 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 just just me, man. It's me. It, it showed me, like... How my melanin really is and how beautiful my melanin is and how many forms like the forms to melanin is fucking like now don't get me wrong melanin itself is the invisible substance you know i'm not gonna get off into anything else outside it's the invisible substance so therefore there has to be manifestations of this invisible substance that manifest within the mind in order for it to manifest on the earth so uh you know I was able to see that and I was able to, to just really, really go in depth, right? And so take time. Another thing, take time when each individual um, energy manifests itself as an aspect of your melanin. Go in deep and fucking manifest those energies. Push them out. Go in deep, manifest those energies and, and go hard. Go in deep into that particular form of melanin and you will see that it is endless, but there is a core there is a core foundation behind that particular form of melon that's that that formed itself as the entity and energy that that's that has shown itself as, as shown itself as to you. So go in deep, find out everything you can about it, and work that shit. Work that motherfucker till you can't work it no more, man. All right. So yeah, um, enjoy, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. It was finally. It was. It was good to finally push out. Something that that I really, really, really enjoyed the most, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to the great old ones, um, the 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 outer gods, to um, um, the great ones. You know what I'm saying? And to the elder gods, you give thanks, give honor, and and yeah, enjoy. Salute.